So we have the logo on the left side. I'm going to create the same or recreate the same here. Okay, so first we're going to start with a uh, simple shape, right? So what do you think, what simple shape do you think we can use for this? Yes, circle, very good. And we need to make sure that the first circle that we are creating has to be in red color, correct? So let's go to the rectangle tool, click and hold on it, okay? And choose ellipse tool, which is inside. Fine, and we'll go to make sure that we're changing the fill color to red, there it is. And now I'm going to draw the first circle, okay? So when I do this, um, you can notice that it's not exactly coming in this yeah, perfect circle shape. So I'm going to hold shift key, which will make it perfect circle. If I want to create it exactly from the center, I'll just measure the exact center point here. So click and drag. Now what should I do? Press Alt key, that starts from the center. So we can make sure that we're getting the exact, almost the exact shape there. And I can hold the shift key to make sure that it gets the exact circle, correct? Good, so once we've finished, we can just release the mouse and this is exactly what I want. I don't wanna change any properties here. I can just close that out. So now you'll notice that because we created it as a shape, we get a new layer that says ellipse one and you can see that the small icon is there that shows that this is a vector shape, clear? So next thing we want to do is we wanna create this inside circle, correct? So to create the inside circle, what we can do is simply we can duplicate the existing circle that we have, right? So to duplicate this ellipse one, we can do it in many different ways. We can either click on it and drag it onto this new layer, okay? So that creates an ellipse copy. That is one method. We can also press Control J, correct? So that will also create as a new copy, or we can also right click on it and choose duplicate layer. That will also create as a duplicate copy. Right? So now we have the second duplicate, but you can see that there's no change that you're seeing visibly, right? So that is because both of them are in the same shape, same color, and they are one, top, one on top of another, right? So what we need to do is we can either move it out or we can make it smaller to see the difference. So to make it smaller, I'm gonna press Control T, that will give me the transformation tool, correct? And once I get the transformation tool, I'll use any one of these corners, okay? And click and drag. Now, you will notice that I'm using uh, the latest version of Photoshop, that is Photoshop 2020. If you have the older version, it will not come in the same proportion, okay? In that case, you have to press Shift key to get the proportion, right? In my case, if I press Shift, it will lose the proportion, okay? So because I'm using 2020. If you have the older version, you need to press Shift to maintain this. In the newer version, I don't have to do that. But I want to get it exactly in the center, so I'll have to press Alt key, okay? So we make sure that we're making it smaller. At the same time, we're maintaining the proportion and we're making it smaller to the center. So now I'm going to leave it here and press Enter. Okay, so we have made it smaller, but still it's not showing in white color. So what we need to do is we need to change the color. So we can change the color either by double clicking on this icon here, or we can just go to the properties up here and we can change. So I'll go ahead and make this white, click OK. So this is what we get. And now we need to make one more circle, which is going to be much smaller than that. And that has to be in the same red color that we made, right? So what we can do is we can actually do make one more duplicate. So right click and choose duplicate layer this time. And I'm going to choose, okay, there you go. So that's the next one. And I will do the same thing that I did before. Press Control T to get the transform. Click and drag, hold the Alt and Shift in the older versions. Just Alt for the 2020 version. I'm going to drop it here. And press Enter, double click on this, change the color to red. Yeah, we can use Pen Tool and draw this exact shape. That is one method or we can also use a rectangle tool because it's just going to be white in the background also. Take the rectangle tool here, okay? And make the fill color to be white, okay? And I'm actually going to start from here. Now it's easier to work with when we zoom in too much, okay? So press Control plus to zoom in, 
okay and to pan around we can use the space bar and click and drag okay so we get to see exactly what we want to see and now I'll use the rectangle tool with white color I'm going to start from somewhere here okay and then drag it all the way till here and then pull it up there you go now if I zoom out you see it looks like there's a little outline there but because we have the white color as the background and the white color inside if I just deselect we get the final result now you might find a small difference here which we can fix by selecting it for selecting this we need to go to this black arrow key which says path selection tool or we can also go to this direct selection tool which will actually help us to precisely move these control points so I'll just zoom in a bit more closer okay so select that and it's easier to work with uh, changing these positions with the use of keyboard okay so I'm going to use the left arrow key just to move it say okay okay so now we can actually move it one step to the left I will also do the same change up here okay good so now you can see that it looks more cleaner compared to before so that completes the logo creation